Hi everyone, welcome back to another Star Citizen EPTU testing. In this video, we are going to test the Argo SRV. Let's go! First of all, I have to say this SRV is such a beautiful ship. It's very small and nimble, but look at the amount of thrusters it has. It's crazy. Eight thrusters, four on each side, and each side is a double thruster. Of course, a towing truck will need that kind of horsepower. And look at the Vito. Six big Vito engines. It's very pretty. Okay, quick tour first. So this is the Argo SRV and you can see this is a huge tractor beam in the back. I'm not sure if we can use our own tractor beam to take it out or not, but I can try later. And we also have over here at the bottom if you see here, it says cargo access. Click this. It's not connected with the ship, but you do have the cargo area. Okay, I guess you cannot access your ship inventory here. Very nice. And keep going under the ship. You have to crouch a little and you see this open. Click this. And then take this elevator up right in front of you. Well, this was closed before. So right in front of you, you can see this is the cockpit. And then around this area is where your components are. Let me just open all of them. You can see. Yep. And then over here, this button is the elevator. Once you click here, it's going to send you down. Over here is HABS. And you can see here is a little kitchenette. And over here is really cool weapon racks. Let me see if we can put a medigun over here. Yes, it's functional over here. See, I put a medigun here. You can put a pistol. You can put tractor beam. Here you can put all your FPS weapons except the real gun and then rocket launcher. We have one bat over here. And over here, you have suit locker. One suit locker over here. And over here, you have a bathroom. Open. Oh, this is the toilet. The shower is here. And here is your your faucet over here. Very compact. Here is the place you can sit to discuss the next towing project. Very cool. Alright. Okay, so first of all, let's try to tow this ballista on Herson with gravity. So one thing is very important. You have to turn the shield off for the target vehicle or ship that you want to tow. So I'm going to turn the shield off. Shields offline. By the way, if you watch one of my previous videos for the light of the ballista, I don't know if it's a bug or intentional. So the ballista is off. I didn't turn the light on, but look at this. It's so bright. And then you can see from, I think from eight kilometers away. So it definitely can reveal the position of the ballista. So to use the SRV is very simple. Basically, turn the shield off for your target vehicle or ship, and then get on the SRV, turn the ship on. on. Press M is turn to tractor mode, and then hold F, you need to look for the inter-remote turret. But once you enter remote turret, you cannot fly the ship anymore, but you can control this turret. And then put the ballista right behind us. It just need one person to operate. Now into tractor mode, towing mode. Into remote turret. Target the vehicle or the ship that you want to tow. So I target the ballista and I just started towing this, lifting it like a paper. Oh no, even with heavy gravity on Herson. So towing it like a paper. Watch over here. So this green circle has to stay within the red circle. Otherwise it will give you a warning. If I stay outside the red circle for a few more seconds, then the tether is gonna break. Over here. So on the left hand side, you see the position of the tether. On the right hand side is the position. This green cross is the ballista and this is your ship, the relative position. Okay, even the engine is on for the ballista. I'm still towing it. But uh, I think it's best to turn the engine off because on the patch note, it stated so. 
I just turned my QT on, and the tether did not break. Okay, jump. Oh, I did. <laughs> I took the ballista with me in QT. Don't crash, don't crash. This looks awesome. There we go, that's the ballista. I am going to get out of QT now. So three, two, one. Drop out of QT. Look at that bright light on the ballista. That's crazy. Let me go back to... Yep, yeah, this is towing mode. I am good. So make sure this green cross is within this green circle. Let's QT back to Herson. Three, two, one. Uh, jump, jump, jump. Oh, it's jumping. Oh, nice. It works very well. Very well. Okay, I'm getting my wife's account into this server. So we can test if I put her on the ballista. Can she fire? Oh. Oh no, I lost the ballista. Somewhere. Where is it? 17 kilometers? I gotta go get it. <laughs> ah, you can see that bright light in space. That's the ballista. That's crazy. How, how far is it? Yeah, about six, seven kilometers. You can already see. Holy moly. Who designed the light for the ballista? Okay, that redeemer is over there. Hey, missile lock, fire. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that is pretty awesome. That's a good kill <laughs> right there. <laughs> Maybe that's what costs crash to desktop. Okay. Target lock. Fire. Missiles away. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna carry this ballista back down to Herson. Ooh, look at this. The SRV could be a really good hot drop ship. For example, this is Jump Town. And I just dropped the ball. Oh, where is it? I just dropped the ballista. A little bit desync here. Okay. No oh, not a scratch. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, now let's test the SRV with the Mira Fury. Too easy to track to the ship. We can send him fly. So this is really what I want to do because sometimes I want to ex do some exploration with the Mira Fury. Go to like a micro tag, different planets or moons, and I don't want to put it inside any other ship. So we can use the SRV. Oh, oh boy! I just throw the Mira Fury on the slam it on the ground. Okay, let me see. I can even track her, the wreckage. Yeah, but I try to use Alt. If you hold Alt, scroll your mouse wheel, it doesn't work for this towing mode. I guess for other tra ship tractor beams, it works, but for this one, it doesn't. Now is the hammerhead time. I really want to tractor this hammerhead. 
Let's see if we can or not. It doesn't budge. No, it doesn't. My tether is at uh, full length. I'm giving my engine full thrust. No, it doesn't budge. All right, I'm gonna get the captain on board to help me. That's one in position. Target in position. Okay, can we do it? Two SRVs going at the same time. Go, go, go. What? Two SRVs? Still not able to tow this one? Full speed, two SRV, not able to pull this hammerhead. Okay, now we are in space. Uh, we have two SRVs over here and we are trying to tow one hammerhead. Oh, I'm using the round mouse. At the same direction, let's go. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. Try one more time, let's go. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's a negative. Two SRVs cannot pull one hammerhead. Tried multiple times, just doesn't work. Well, maybe we can pull each other. I think we can totally pull each other. Oh, what happened? What the? <laughs> We're trying to pull each other. <laughs> this is the glitch of the universe. Two SRVs cannot pull each other. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, only one will prevail. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, the other SRV is blacking out. This is it for this video. Just a little fun test with the SRV. We know the SRV can tow the ballista. I have not tried the tank yet. And we know that the uh, SRV can not tow the hammerhead. Even with two SRVs, both in atmosphere and in space, we cannot tow one hammerhead. Maybe three SRVs. If you are in an orc and your orc has tested how many SRVs can tow one hammerhead, please let us know. And if there is any other test you want me to do about the SRV, please also leave in the comments below. It's really fun. I will test them out. So thanks guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.